Uh, my name is Elvin Kamwebaze and presenting to you Twalako. Twalako Services Company Limited is a four-wheel ride hailing company that has mobile applications which, you, which are used to link drivers to passengers. Established in 2019, uh, it has been able to ride all to bring its way up all the way from developing the mobile applications, one being for the drivers, another being for the customers or the passengers. And uh, at this point, we have a fully fledged driver app like application and customer application, both already on uh, Google Play Store for the Android users. Elvin is one of the many youths occupying the startup or digital innovation space in Uganda, keen on attracting support and investment to get to the next level. The digital innovation space remains one of the low-hanging fruits that Uganda can utilize to turn around fortunes of a bulk of the country's mainly unemployed youth. A 2016 report on digital startups in Africa by Patek Ventures revealed that Uganda tech startups raised $16 million, that is 56 billion shillings, in funding from around the globe. While the figure may not sound much considering the fact that the continent raised over half a billion dollars that year, the gist is that funding for tech startups in the country expanded by over 50 times that year compared to the previous one. To startup experts, the startup journey in Uganda is still challenged by many factors including failure to monetize their innovations due to limited resources and the failure to reach the market segments where those innovations are needed. This has now given way to incubation centers. So what as Makere Innovation and Incubation Center, what we do is uh, skills development and that is through practical training of these individuals. Most of them usually have just the ideas but not the skills. So we develop these skills and that is through practical training, business coaching, mentorship. We help individuals, university graduates, entrepreneurs out there, we help them to transform these ideas which are usually very brilliant and we help them to transform them uh, to viable business businesses and market products. Beyond investment, the viability of digital innovation is anchored on the solutions such innovations are able to offer the market. That's why such incubation centers have today brought on board private sector partners. One of the things that we definitely provide is data and ensuring that whoever comes and works along with us, whether it's a startup or a mature company, but in this case, let me specifically speak to a startup, you have the benefit of coming in and having access to the data and information that we have already, having been a bank that's been in Uganda for over 50 years, having an easier route to the market. As, as a financial institution, as a bank that has, that's got wide experience, we've been able to open up a lot of these startups to get in, whether it's through funding, uh, enabling them to prepare to bid for government jobs. We are now talking about oil and gas, uh, which is probably the next big sector that we would want to actually see. This ecosystem also brings on board investors that are keen on supporting digital startups, sometimes for profit, but also for socio-economic transformation. I would encourage Ugandan uh, entrepreneurs and startups to join programs run by entrepreneurs support organizations uh, in the ecosystem in order to get access to human, social and uh, financial capital that we need to scale their businesses. And investors in the ecosystem are engaged uh, as mentors in different programs that are run, um, uh, that are run by this organization. And also entrepreneurs do tap into the pipeline generated by this organization uh, for, their deal flow, uh, for their deal flow. And also, these organizations that are very vibrant in the ecosystem do provide uh, investment readiness training. And this is really key to a startup being successful because it will help you know what kind of investment is best suited for your startup. While this is taking place, they are summarizing questions, including whether especially the educated youth from all corners of the country are part of the digital innovations discussion, and indeed whether there are efforts to reach out to such youth. Our focus for even the next year where we'll be putting up our activities, our events, our focus is going to be on how, how does a young man who is uh, coming up with uh, new initiatives, new innovation somewhere in Kataku in Kalangara contribute to job creation. So the models, for instance, our members have been running, the hubs that we work with have been running. We're now empowering them or we're building the capacity so that the models actually change, that you don't look at uh, supporting one entrepreneur to come up with innovation and that's the end. But rather look at innovation that actually create jobs. Jobs that are not basic jobs but dignifying jobs. 
jobs that are not two jobs but a thousand and millions of jobs. So the models now that we are imparting in the members are those models that are first of all sustainable, jobs that are scalable, not, not jobs but models that are scalable, uh, models that can be uh, duplicated in other areas of Uganda and I'm happy to uh, report that for instance Marke Innovation Innovation Centre which we're working with has come up with a model that's going to be replicated in other universities, which we think is the way to go. To government, supporting digital startups is key to freeing the potential of other critical sectors of the economy, driving convenience and making them competitive. The startup must have to look at the population, the different sectors. As the president has said, we are talking of the agricultural sector, where the majority of the people are. We are talking of tourism, where the opportunities of people with money are consuming that tourism good, uh, relaxation, and holidaying, and what have you. We are also talking of uh, ICT as another area that also creates jobs uh, in its own right, and, um, and services, manufacturing, and what have you that you see. So, for startups or plainly put digital innovators, the ecosystem that brings together incubators as training centers, government, the private sector innovation of takers and investors is today bringing down dividends and has been key to driving viability of these innovations. IT company dealing in IT security and software development and we are the makers of Smart Case Manager, a legal case file management system that targets lawyers and legal departments for organizations. Mama S has helped us first of all source for funding and on top of that, they've also incubated us, supported us, show, showed us the way on how to maneuver because the startup journey is always hard, especially at the beginning. So they've been with us, pushing us, and they're even the ones who helped us on board DFCU Bank. Going forward, government is looking at the future opportunities that the tech world presents, explaining why it's aggressively coming out to midwife startup ecosystems and critically support incubators that bring together all ecosystem actors for business. There are many areas that we haven't gone into yet, artificial intelligence. The knowledge that I can communicate to you facially without using words. The knowledge that we need to change people's mindsets. And the way to do them, we no longer have to interact physically, we have to do it in different ways, even without talking, whether it's a picture, whether it is a word, or whether it is a clip that you are going to reach out to there. So opportunities are huge. We are looking for, the world is looking for solutions to be able to solve their challenges of costs of employment and what have you.